show you, you can see how the safety strap is coming out of the end cap. And here's how you put it on, it's in through. You wanna make sure that this rubber stopper here is on the thumb side or the radial side like this. You have a rubber stopper here where you're just going to slide up, not too close, not too tight, but close enough, maybe one inch from the wrist. Then you're gonna take the end cap of the inertia wave, put it in your hand here, get a firm grip, and there it is, the safety strap on the inertia wave. You're watching the inertia wave method. The wave makers hold the end caps of the inertia wave securely and start to gently spring the length of both tubes as if you're shaking water off your hands. Rhythm, do not muscle it. The method of the inertia wave is an oscillating spring-like up and down continuous pattern. Do not let it hit the ground. If you hear the wind sound, you're doing it correctly. You're watching the hero wave. The wave maker holds the end caps of the inertia wave securely and starts to perform the method of the hero wave, a spring-like oscillated up and down continuous drum roll pattern with each tube moving in opposite directions, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, one at a time. Make sure it hits the ground. Hold the end caps of the tube securely and start to gently to aggressively spring the length of both tubes as if you were shaking water off your hands. The method of the thunder slap is a spring-like oscillated up and down continuous pattern. As the speed builds from the wave makers, the tubes are slapped together on the ground. Keep the slap and keep the momentum. You're watching the crossfire. The wave makers hold the end caps of the tube securely. The wave makers grab both tubes, pull them into his or her belly and starts to transversely flutter both tubes together. Both tubes follow one another. The method of crossfire is a spring-like oscillated side-to-side -side continuous pattern as the speed builds in the tubes in a whipping motion. The wave maker holds the end caps of the IW Duo securely and starts to rotate their right hand clockwise as their left hand counterclockwise. This is circumduction, one tube under the other. Whip it, stay strong in the wrist, and listen for that wind sound. Don't let it hit the ground. Double under is a spring-like, oscillating, large circle. You could also incorporate a side shuffle. You're watching the double over. The wave maker holds the end caps of the IW securely and starts to rotate their right hand counterclockwise as their left hand Clockwise. This is a circumduction pattern, one tube over the other. Whip it, stay strong in the wrist, and listen for that wind sound. Don't let it hit the ground. The method of the double over is a spring-like oscillated large circle. You're watching the Super Typhoon Walk. One, Holding the tube securely two, about center of your chest, three, 10 to 15 inches four, out from five, the body, you can one, use one tube or both. Two, the wave makers start to flutter both tubes just like the motion of the crossfire along that tabletop. The tubes follow each other in a whipping motion as the speed builds from one side or both sides. Challenge yourself by adding a backward and forward walk. You're watching the Oxygen Thief. The wave makers hold the end caps of the tube securely and start to gently spring the length of both tubes as if they're shaking water off their hands. The wave makers continuously slap the ground as they decelerate to a semi-squat position, then immediately accelerate to pop off the ground several inches. When landing, challenge yourself to incorporate a side hop, left side, right side. The wave makers will repeat this method several times. One, two, three, jump. One, two, three, hop. You're watching the hurricane walk. The wave maker holds the end of the tube securely and starts to gently spring the length of both tubes as if shaking water off your hands. The wave maker is performing the inertia wave method. The anchor with arms overhead forming the letter Y starts to slowly walk forward, controlling their posture. The objective is for the wave maker to follow the anchor, maintaining the resistance profile in a fluid, consistent manner to achieve optimal engagement of core and stability muscles, including the shoulder complex. 
You're watching the wavelength method. Standing strong, keeping the body spring-like and stable at the same time. Hold the end caps of the tube securely and spring the length of both tubes as if you're shaking water off your hands. While performing the inertia wave method, the anchor continues to maintain a retracted shoulder blade. This shoulder complex exercise achieves optimal engagement of the stability muscles, including the entire shoulder girdle region. Both can wave or both can anchor. You're watching the Typhoon Challenge. The wave makers and anchor stand at opposite ends. Elbows are close to the side, palms down. Both hands holding end caps of tube, fluttering the tubes along the tabletop. Build the momentum, speed, and listen for that wind sound. This can be performed with one or two tubes. As a team, verbally cue each other to switch and rotate to the other side. You both can wave, or one will be an anchor. All right, ready for the shock wave. Stay strong and stable. Three Elbows are close to the side. Both hands holding the end cap securely. On each other's verbal cue, start to flow the tubes Five across that tabletop. Hands directly in front of the chest. Build the Four momentum, speed, and listen for that wind sound. Three this can be performed with one or two, two tubes. As a team, verbally cue one. each other to follow that clock pattern. Two. This version is for Three cognitive awareness along with enhancements of communication Five. skills. You're watching Single Leg Wave. The wave maker starts to gently spring the length of both tubes, performing the inertia wave method. The anchor drives their elbows back and stabilizes. The anchor raises one foot off the ground where the thigh is parallel to the ground. Hold, one, two, three, four, drop. Switch, one, two, three, four. Repeat this several times. You're watching Thumbs Up Inertia Wave Method standing. Both wave makers hold the end caps securely facing up. Elbows high, shoulder width. Gently to aggressively spring the length of both tubes. Rhythm, do not muscle it. And do not let it hit the ground. Build the speed and energy in the tubes. Verbally, cue each other to become the wave maker and anchor. Keep switching the roles. You're watching kneeling crossfire and inertia wave method, single or double tubes. The wave makers are kneeling on a soft surface pad or mat facing each other, holding both end caps securely as they initiate the inertia wave method or the crossfire method. As you can see, this is a thumbs up grip with the inertia wave. The wave makers start building up the speed in the tubes. You can also progress by trying to perform the inertia wave and crossfire method one after another. You're watching kneeling anti-rotation single or double tubes. The wave makers are kneeling both facing the same direction, holding the end caps of the tube securely. With arms in front, slight bend in the elbow, chest level, slightly flexed hip, building the speed as they continue the wave pattern. On a verbal cue, slow down and switch sides.